Hello, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Liz. I am the creator of Zinia Berry Designs, and I have a little store, and I'll link it below. I am so happy to be back. Sorry, Jaloon has gotten away from me, and I have not been able to record a video in a hot minute. And as it turns out, my equipment for recording is not working. So I am quickly trying to do a screenshot for you so that you are able to see the July planner in action and the new sticker release I'm super excited about. So these planners are created for good notes users and for note shelf slash notability users so if you're interested please purchase the correct one um, i create them in a four by three ratio for ipad pro 12.9 for no uh, note shelf notability and for good notes they will work across the board on all ipads and in all pdf note taking apps however there might be some wasted space along the edges because you know, you can't create for every single iPad and every single note-taking app that is out there. Um, but in, in any case, let's take a look at our new July planner, which is super cute. And as always, when you click on the right-hand side, it takes you right to the last page. And I know that because there's a sticker that I've embedded into the last page. Clicking on the right-hand side closes your book or your planner up. When you click directly onto your planner, it will take you to your first calendar page. And here's a couple of examples of the stickers and the sticker release set. There are three calendars. You're on the main calendar. There's your second calendar and your third calendar. It is so versatile to have a bunch of different calendars for different things. I like to use my calendars as trackers. And, um, you know, sometimes people would like to use them for other family members, and you can certainly do that. There is some hidden links here on this page. And, of course, here is a note um, paper that you can jot down anything you need to. But up here where the circular clip is, if you clip on that, it takes you to a bonus page. Sort of what I call a secret page because you can put stuff on here and cover it up and nobody will know what's going on there. When you type, uh, click on the don't call it a dream, call it a plan, it will open up your planner to the second page where you can sort of write down things to do in July or your manifesto and it will be something that you can look back at or keep adding to and, and just enjoy. The tabs at the top are clickable to that month at a glance page and... Uh, as are the journal paid books. Okay, now um, you can decorate up this page as you like. When you click on the pen, it will also take you, oh, low battery. I think I can get it done before it um, disappears. Uh, click on the pen, it will open up to your calendar. So that is the basic calendar. And as always, we have links straight to the weeks and one, two, three, four, and five. And we have links straight to the days, the 29th, Friday the 29th. When you click on the Friday, it takes you back to the monthly view. When you click on the number, it takes you to the week that that number is in. So here it is. We have seven month at a glance tabs. One, two, uh, three, four, five. I should put it on that six and seven and you can have your month at a glance whatever way that you want to i like to have mine as um oh basically a brain dump a tracking page uh what else do i do a reflection page maybe a financial page I've given you seven tabs, seven one-page month at a glance tabs for you to choose to do whatever you want. And you have two journals. Journal number one is 32 pages long and you can connect to each page and back to. I love the fact that this is like a little picture frame and you can add either writing or a little picture to indicate what is on that page. Perfect for scrapbooking for the month, uh, a fitness journal for the month, a Bible journal for the month, whatever you like to journal, just a journal for the month, a, th a thoughts journal for the month. You get two of them, one and two, and they are fully, fully hyperlinked. And that is what I love about this planner. All right, we're going to leave note shelf for a moment and exciting. We're going to go see the new sticker release and I have it in good notes. 
And what is super great now is from a lot of requests from people, and I have done it. It's a lot of work, but I have done it. You will get your July stickers in a .png file. So they're individually cropped stickers if you like them that way. You can also get it in a .goodnotes file, which is this, which is basically a sticker book that I have already preloaded the stickers into and labeled the tabs. And so we can go through transparent backgrounds as we're on right now. And if I go to the end, bonus stickers, it's already there for you. You will also get a dot note shelf preloaded sticker book as well if you are a note shelf user. And you will get a dot selections, which is also very exciting because that is right here, your elements. And I have preloaded all of the stickers for you and all you have to do is open it up in here and it loads it for you. So you can do it whatever way you like. You're gonna get all four different types of um, stickers in formats and you can choose whatever you want to use however you want to use it. So July 2022 design is lots of fun. It took me a while. I did end up getting sick for a couple of weeks so that was really hard <laughs> to get motivated to do anything, but I have done it. And up here, um, I don't know if you could see if I do this maybe, is the new Keller palette. If you are a note shelf user, we're gonna zip back there later and I will show you how to upload your color palette into note shelf. But here are the um, hex codes for you to put into your pen tool or your highlighter tool or your shapes tool. You can do that manually. This page is called Transparent Backgrounds, and I always love to build in my planners and, and build with starting with my background colors. And I love to have neutral, so there are several neutral colors in here, and then just a huge pop of, well, watermelon-type colors. That was my initial thought um, for July. Now let's go through the next section. It is loaded. There is so much stuff in here. The next section is called trackers. So I have created for you several different types of trackers. And oh, these ones right here, these wheel trackers, these color wheel trackers are some of my favorite. They are pre-made though. So I don't know if, um, I am so sorry. I am touching all the wrong things. Oh no, the phone is ringing, but we'll let that ring and let it stop. It is preloaded with um, water tracker, Let's see if I can go back to showing this. We've got a water tracker, vitamin tracker, daily steps, my feelings, sleep tracker, sorry for the noise, the weather, and two different color palettes and two different centers. And I just think these are so much fun to use. But if you don't want to do that, there is individual trackers as well. Reading, how many, uh, what book I'm reading or how many pages I've read, two different types of water trackers weather trackers, individual weather trackers, how I'm feeling. And um, this is a weekly tracker, a Monday start and a Sunday start. And just here in this black space, let's see if I can make this bigger. You can just write down the what you're tracking. And this is a multiple tracker. So let me see if I can do this. I am not used to good notes, so there we go. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. If you're tracking six different things in a week, you're just simply going to write that down in the space. And here is, <coughs> excuse me, a monthly tracker. So again, you can write down what you're tracking in this space and just use your highlighter tool to highlight which days that you have accomplished what you're <laughs> trying to track. Okay, moving on, we're gonna go to story cards. Now these are fun, I love story cards. I call them story cards um, because they tell stories. And we're gonna start with this one. This one says this week and all the things. And so you could put at the end, maybe on your daily page on Sunday, whatever your end of the uh, week is or Saturday or Monday, all the things that happen for you or all the highlights you might wanna put into this sticker set. Uh, this story card, sorry. Um, what's the next one? I'm just trying to figure out. There we go. This one. This one says currently, and this is fun because in summertime, you know, I am reading more and I'm doing a whole lot more. So I would love to keep track of what I'm enjoying, 
what I'm reading, what I'm listening to, and what I'm watching. And this story card is for you. This one is Memorable Moments. It's nice to put a photo right in here and just journal a little bit about it. Summer Adventures, same thing, just sort of opposite where you could put the photo in the bottom and just journal a little bit. This one is really cute with three different photos. Now you don't have to put a photo in each one. You could put journaling in the middle or and two photos. Um, and then this one is great for a daily page because it has morning, afternoon, and evening, and you can write whatever you want to write in those things, your schedule, how you're feeling, um, your self-care routine, and then on my mind, because sometimes that's why I call them story cards, because you can write a story or just, you know, have a brain dump if you want to. So I'm really enjoying these. I hope you are going to enjoy them as well. The next section is widgets, and these are so much fun. They are in every color of the palette up here, um, and there is 10 colors in this palette. Uh, we have three that are currently, and what I love about these is that they are created with a little bit of a drop shadow, a hint of a drop shadow off of the card, but none on the card. And in this space right here where the heart is, you could put down currently reading, currently listening to whatever you want to, and they come in three of the neutral colors for you. Now, these are so, so, so much fun. These are individual widgets that attach with these ring binders, and I am having fun creating these. Um, so if you can see, I can pull it apart and put any of them together. These are the full-size ones right here, and these are the th uh, two-thirds size ones, and then they have headers right here. So you can put a header on top and name it, and I'll show you a page that I did created with these in a little bit. The next thing on my list is widget toppers. Well, I call them widget toppers or um, what else did I call them? Not necessarily widget toppers. They're just toppers like uh, that you can put on top or separately because I have a page to show you on how I did that separately. So here we've got quite a few of them. I don't even know 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, 17, 17, I believe, of these widget toppers. And they are super cute. These ones are, let me see if I can get my shiny thing again. These ones are for the full size widgets. And these ones here are for the two third size widgets. And these are bonus extra lines in case you just want to do a lot of writing. You know, these are kind of uh, really cute breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. Um, your steps, your uh, reminder that you could put in here, your prep top three priorities, your sleep habits, anything that you want to use them for. They, there's a lot of blank widgets, checklists here, a big one, a smaller one, um, things to do lists, just some lines. Enjoy, enjoy using them. Okay, let's move on to one of my favorite uh, sections, which is the decorative stickers. And I am just going to open that up and there is a quite a few of decorative stickers and where was my head in this process? I don't really know. I kind of started off with the watermelon section and I, it just went from there. I just did whatever moved me, whatever I wanted to. So I started off with watermelons and then I moved on to mountains and uh, florals and travel and travel and lake and then mosquitoes and what else did I um you know the the Canada Day and fourth of July and then these um forest violets that um are on the front of the planner and these are so cute and adorable and I hope that you really enjoy them and will have fun using them now this part is for um, this next part is for good notes users only. You will get these bonus stickers as a .png file if you are a user of any other note taking app. But if you are a user of good notes, and I'm going to click on to the bonus stickers, you will get these bonus stickers and they are color changing. So you can fit them. Now they are in the color palette that you see up here. But you may not want to use them in this color palette. 
you may want to use them in a different color palette and they are color changing and that is exciting because i've had some requests about that now i'm not a super big fan of using color changing stickers because they're they're not super stable but you know it is it is fun to create them and so i'm going to move on to uh, the lasso tool so when you're using the color changing stickers now the words or the um word art on top is a uh, photo a picture the background the colored backgrounds are the color changing part and so you need to have um well i have everything on right now handwriting images and text boxes and i'll do a different video on what you need to turn on and off depending on what your color changing stickers are so if i take my lasso tool and i'm just gonna lasso summer breeze and press color oh my goodness i can change it to any color that i want to and that is so exciting i love it and you can do the same thing because it will change colors if you download the dot good notes file and if you download the dot selections file it will also change colors if i come into my elements file and i pick one of them that i've already put in there summer is my season and i'm just gonna make it smaller so it doesn't affect all the other stickers if I lasso, see it's catching that other sticker. So if I lasso that, press the color, I can change it as well. So that is so much fun. So I hope you do enjoy that. Um, that was a lot of fun to make. I could have been doing this for the whole entire time, but this is, this is your bonus color changing stickers for you to suit your planner needs we are going to hit back i'm trying not to take up too much of your time back into note shelf and i'm just going to show you a couple of examples of some pages that i created a daily page because i still haven't decided if i'm going to do a, a monthly just a monthly spread or if i'm going to do a weekly spread um, or if i'm going to do a daily spread but i do have some daily examples for you using all of the stickers now if we just go back for a second and i'll just go to a blank your planner comes with a blank page for you to use any way you want whatever inserts you have you can fill them up in here and this is what i love about it because i need to i need to be creative and i need to have the ability to change things up and not get bored so here is an example using the stickers of a daily page i think for me it has everything that i want on it there's decorative elements um a place for writing and a place for my top three my checklist my steps now i don't know if i have a pointer here do i a top three checklist my steps my sleep my water tracker my weather tracker what i'm reading don't forget uh, write down something that i need to do how i'm feeling today write all about that my top three and what's on my mind and if i need to move things around yes i can easily oops i'm so sorry i can easily move things around let's see if i can get back to that page technical difficulties here we go oh and here is the page the second we were just on this page so here is one daily setup and if i like this i'm going to lasso the whole page copy and paste it over and over again until i get bored with it and i want to change it up and do a different type of daily page so let's slide over to the next day and here is another example look at how how you can create different color palettes just using those colors and different you know i've just kind of kept this with a minimal amount of color and with the toppers the the um widget toppers just on their own not on top of widgets here is an example of one of those widgets with the widget topper on it and you can just change out the color palette to something completely different getting things done checklist and these are all um let's see what and what I'm trying to say, they can all be moved. My background is moving here. Let me just uh, lock it. You can coordinate and change out to these widgets to whatever colors you want. You can do the full size, the two thirds size, uh, whatever works for you. Here is getting things done section. 
This is my getting things done section. Here is my tracking section, my verse of the day, details of today, how today went, and pictures, even photos of the day, and how I'm feeling today, a little section to write in. And I want to tell you that this, oh, 5%, we can do this. Um, <laughs> this is just, let me see if I can get my text. These are just text that I wrote with, uh, just typed in what I wanted to write in there. Pick your favorite font. You don't need to have text <laughs> made for you. You can write down whatever you want to and type it into that space. This is so customizable and just so much fun to decorate, to decorate up. So again, I hope you enjoyed um, view one and view two. Now I'm going to just quickly, before we end this video, show you how to insert the color palace if you are a note shelf user. And I have already inserted it into my pen tool. So you could see there are 10. This is the first five and the second five are, are, are already inserted, but I haven't inserted them yet into my highlighter tool. So simply you're going to press on the plus button. No internet connection. Yep. That is what <laughs> where I am. Um, you're going to press the search bar and it will, won't come up because I am not connected, but it's watermelon vibes one palette one and it won't come up but it'll come up as under zunia and you will just click on that i don't know if i can get some internet um <laughs> right now but it will come up as um watermelon vibes one by zunia and you simply check the check mark and it will load it right in there and you can type in watermelon vibes um two by Zunia and will load that palette right into all of your tools at the top of the toolbar. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed that. Leave me any comments of any videos. I have a few ideas of videos that I wanna do. I wanna kind of give back and teach you some things that I have been learning along the way. But if there's something specific that you wanna learn, leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you everybody and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for being patient with me. See you later guys.